Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Christopher Furless, Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works, and today I'm excited to talk about uh, Databricks Delta. So for anybody who's not aware, um, and those who do, uh, Apache Spark is the basis for Databricks, right? It's the underlying technology, so about 75 to 80% of all the code in there is, is still Apache Spark. Um, and some of the founders of Spark went ahead and uh, built Databricks, right? And so you get that super fast in-memory processing of both streaming and batch data types, right? Uh, so one of the big differentiators between Spark and Databricks uh, beyond uh, the, uh, the workspaces and uh, the collaboration options uh, that come native to Databricks, uh, especially Azure and uh, the partnership that Azure has with Databricks, uh, is this ability to offer Databricks Delta, which delivers a powerful transactional storage layer by harnessing the power of Spark and Databricks DBFS. So the core abstraction Databricks Delta is an optimized Spark table that stores data as parquet files in DBFS, and it maintains a transaction log that efficiently tracks changes to the table. So. You can read and write data stored in the Delta format using SQL batch, right? Spark SQL batch and streaming APIs that you use to work with Hive tables and DBFS directories. With the addition of the transaction log and other enhancements, Databricks Delta offers some really significant benefits. Uh, the first one is now you have ACID transactions, right? And so for consistency of data, this is a big one. Uh, multiple writers can simultaneously modify a data set and see consistent views. And writers can modify a data set without interfering with jobs reading the data set. The other big benefit is even faster read access. So automatic file management organizes data into large files that can be read efficiently. And there are statistics that enable speeding up reads by 10 to 100x and data skipping avoids reading irrelevant information. This is not available in Apache Spark. It's only available in Databricks. Uh, so just another great feature of Azure Databricks and uh, you know, getting a lot of momentum here uh, at Pragmatic Works. We're doing some really interesting things with it for some of our clients. And uh, you know, we're really excited to help other customers. So if you have any questions around Databricks or Azure or anything data platform related, uh, we're here to help and we, we love doing it, right? So click the link below. We're happy to help out or, or give us a call. Thanks very much and have a great day.